Good morning, guys. I am coming at you bright and early. I got up at 6.30 today. What? Um, I was getting so nocturnal, like I was going to sleep at like 3 or 4 a.m. and waking up at like 10 or 11, which was not good. I'm such a night owl. So I decided to say yes to a gym class at 8.30 in the morning. I'm going to another space London. Um, definitely late, so I probably should go, but that's what we're off to this morning. I feel rough. Um, I just, I wanted to discuss, okay, right. Um, so when I go to the gym, this is what I wear. Um, leggings, top, and sometimes if it gets too hot, I will take this off and it's like a Puma sports bra underneath. And the reason behind wearing this is purely for functional reasons. As you guys know, I never wear a bra, but in the gym, you kind of have to, otherwise it gets a little bit jiggly. So for purposes purely to do with sport, I wear a bra. And the rest of my gym kit, I, if I put like a baggy t-shirt on, the type of exercise that I do, I get like dripping wet, so it literally just sticks to me. So this for me is purely functional. And um, I know in the mists of summer when it was like 32 degrees, I would still put a jacket on over the top of this because of the reaction from men. And even though I'd be sat there ridiculously hot, there's something about men and gym kits that just... <laughs> I don't know how to put this. Men and gym kits. Um, it ma they make me feel really uncomfortable. So this is fine in the gym, no one bats an eyelid, but as soon as you step out of the gym, it becomes an issue. So I had this on on the tube today, zipped up to the top with the coat over the top, but I'd just come out of an epic session and then I was like sweating. I got so hot on this stuffy tube that I literally unzipped it and did this. And the amount of, <laughs> it's really, I really hope this comes across in the right way. Men make me feel uncomfortable. Um, and I know from a perspective when other, I, I feel like other people have mentioned this before and it, it backlash and it's like, well, you should be flattered. But they don't do it in a flattering way. It's like eye raping, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna call it. It makes me feel so uncomfortable. If a man got on the tube and was hot and took his jacket off and had his gym kit on underneath that was like lycra and tight I don't think women would eye rape him um, but if a woman does it I raped and it doesn't make me feel good it makes me feel really uncomfortable it makes me feel like I'm being sexualized and all I was doing was going to the gym in the morning um, and it's it's a hard one because all the magazines and fashion, there's lots of media that sexualizes women. The Kardashians, for instance, very sexualized. But when you're minding your own business on a tube and just really hot, I don't know. Do, do women want to be sexualized? Because I don't. <laughs> and Oh, it's really hard to explain like if if people understand what I'm saying and how it makes them feel let me know in the comments because I Feel like it's like say if I went on an evening out and wore a really glamorous dress and men turn their heads It's not the same kind of attention as when they're eye raping you in a gym kit <laughs> It's almost as Sometimes as well when I don't wear a bra. I don't wear a bra because it's uncomfortable only reason I don't like them then like now the first thing I do when I walk through the door how many women take the bra off as soon as they get through the front door I take that further and don't even put one on because they are the most uncomfortable things in the world so I choose not to wear a bra pretty much ever but sometimes there's nipples <laughs> through your top only slightly mine aren't very offensive I got very small boobs but um when men are nipples, they have them too. It's like, mate, look down, you have them too. Exactly the same. No difference. Why are you staring at mine? It's so weird. It doesn't make me feel, it makes me feel really uncomfortable. And it makes me worry that 
most of the world is run by men because if they cannot control themselves to behave in a certain way in public towards women how are these people running our country well a woman is running our country but the majority of the world is run by men and they can't help themselves but i rape it's bizarre <laughs> Feminism. I think feminism is a really difficult one and I feel like it's been misconstrued, the word feminism has been misconstrued in a really weird way. Um, it's lost its meaning a little bit, but... Yeah, Dis open discussion, comments, how do we feel about this? That said, I'm about to take my bra off. <laughs> Hi guys, good afternoon. I'm just jumping on here. I've popped you on the window ledge. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about a fragrance. You guys will have seen the other week that I went on to the British Belmont Pullman. And if you guys don't know what that is, I'll leave a link to the video down below because it was just the most gorgeous train I've ever been on. It was so beautiful and we had afternoon tea and like a three course meal. Oh my gosh, it was just the most beautiful day. So I'll leave, I might actually put some clips of it here whilst I talk. So I went on that trip with a perfume brand called Clive Christian and they are just, it's just the most exquisite perfume that I've ever smelled. Like the whole branding as well behind it. I actually have one here to show you. So this is the packaging right here and it's just absolutely stunning. I love the gold and the red and the shine. Clive Christian actually do perfumes for both men and women and I love that the branding kind of appeals to both. It's a British perfume house that has been around since the 18th century and they are the only house to ever be granted the permission to use the Queen, Queen Victoria's crown as an inspiration for the bottle head. So you will see in a minute what I mean by that. So I actually have here the Papyrus perfume, which is a man's one, but this is so me. I always go for men's fragrances. So if there is a lineup of like scents, I will always go for the men's one. I just, I think that's actually meant to happen. Like men's fragrances are designed to appeal to women and women's fragrances are designed to appeal to men. But what Clive Christian does, which I think is really clever, they are absolutely beautiful on their own but when paired together so there's a man and a woman to each like partnering and when they are paired together it creates the most beautiful smell together. so do you know if you like go out with your partner and you're wearing two really contrasting fragrances they some like times clash well clive christian perfume creates one that just really blends lovely together so i thought that was a wonderful idea so let me open the packaging for you and i'll show you a little bit about it this is the box it comes in and I just think this would make the most beautiful present underneath a Christmas tree. I always don't know what to get men. I always feel really awkward buying gifts but I think this is like really sexy but like beautiful at the same time so a really good idea and then you open it and this is what the perfume looks like so you can see what I mean about the Queen Victoria crown no other perfume brand gets to do that so that's something really special for the brand I love the black and gold as well such sleek packaging so if I just bring this out this is from the Noble Collection and the Water Lily one matches it, but I'll explain a little bit about the different fragrances in a minute. I actually talked a little bit about it on my vlog that I'll link underneath. So if you wanna see our trip on the Belmond Pullman and stuff, definitely go check that out. But this is what it looks like. Just look how stunning that bottle is. And then you pull the head off. Oh, smell, it's so good. Oh, it's like, really it's such a sexy and rich smell and it's a man's one but I, i'm obsessed i'll probably wear this today <laughs> clive christian have two new pairings out and they are from the noble collection i'm just gonna read you a little bit of information about them here because i just think it's such a wonderful idea like i've never heard of any other brand doing like the pairings before there is the art nouveau pair which is the one that i have one from and also art deco and i love that they kind of pick perfumes from like different time periods so art nouveau and art deco and i think the branding very much explains the kind of time periods it's in. So we have pa papyrus, which is essential musky Ferrar with the classic celebration of lavender and vetiver. The green notes of galbanum travels energetically with suggestion of pepper into a lush herbal heart of geranium, basil and tingling ginger. I love how like perfumes explain like the scents. They do it so well. 
Celebrating the passion of exploration and the love of Egyptian embellishments, the scholarly scent of papyrus flows into dry cedar wood lifted by flourishing ladder with a hint of bergamot. And I actually love bergamot. Every, every perfume that I ever smell that has bergamot in, I'm always obsessed with. And then the pairing to that is the water lily one, which is designed for the women. So this is designed for the men, but it's actually, you can wear either like I do. I definitely will wear this. But um, yeah, the water lily goes with the papyrus. And then in the art deco pairing, the vanilla orchard goes with the cypress. So definitely next time you're in a department store, they're all in the high-end department stores. Like I think it was exclusive to Harrods for a while. And then like Harvey Nicks, Fortman and Mason, like the high-end department stores, you will find them in. So definitely go give them a smell next time you're Around. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you and I am definitely going to be putting this under the Christmas tree for someone special this Christmas And I just I love talking about fragrances like it goes back from I don't know if you guys I just tell, say this a lot I used to work in Harrods like 10 years ago in the perfume section and I used to smell all the fragrances So I just became obsessed with like the different notes and stuff and I can all I have a nose for certain fragrances I'm like I know what you're wearing and I just love playing around with different smells because they remind like when if you wear a certain fragrance all the time and someone smells that fragrance they automatically will think of you because the smell brings back like a hundred memories and that's why I love fragrances I think it brings back more memories than anything else which is scientifically proven I think so yeah Clive Christian all details will be down below and I hope you smell the fragrance next time you're in a department store and see if you like it and stuff because I definitely do Pixie sent me something quite incredible. So the lipstick you guys always ask. <laughs> I look so weird without lipstick on. I feel naked. Um, the lipstick I always put on is Pixie by Petra, Un Natural, and it's this shade right here. So whenever you see me with this peachy color on, nine times out of ten, I, it will always be this one. So these are all the different colors they actually do. So this is the one that I use, but you literally have every shade under the sun. I love this color. <gasps> this looks good. Um, but I literally just dab it on because it's a matte liquid lip. I dab on a little bit and then put like an EOS ball over the top. But the most amazing thing, let me show you. So they have sent me my own color making kit. So we mix these all these colors and you can make your own you can make your own this is fabulous so i thought guys let's make our own lipstick watch me get this everywhere <laughs> oh oh <laughs> uh, i have definitely just created the shade that i really like oh no it's slightly pink yet <laughs> okay let me take this off my lips and then we're gonna this is my shade do you like it? Hmm. <laughs> it's like a child's mess. Oh, let me take this to the kitchen. So I definitely created a lot of mess, stained me hands, <laughs> but I now have my own lipstick. So we're gonna give it a whirl. So first off, I'm gonna put my trusted lip liner on. Yes, to this color. Oh my gosh. Pixie, if you are watching this, Please, can you make this color a thing? I love it. <laughs> oh my God, guys, I love it. And I'm gonna explain now what I'm doing before I leave. I am heading to Debenhams, Oxford Street for a con well, like a meeting or I don't know what to call it, a one-to-one -one with um, Bare Minerals to learn all about their new range and stuff. So yeah, Bare Minerals is a brand that I love because of the concealer. The concealer, um, I don't know what it's called. But I'll link it down below because it saved me when I had acne. If you're wanting a cover-up stick that doesn't irritate, Bare Minerals was the way forward. So I, I haven't tried any of the other products, but I've always heard such good things, especially about their foundation. So it'll be really interesting to go talk to the makeup artist down there as well. So yeah, that's what we're going to do now. So this is my outfit today, guys. I just have this big teddy bear coat on. Love it. I'm all black. <laughs> I like the hood on this. So cool. So guys, I am just at the Ben Mineral Counter. I can't even say that. Bear Mineral Counter at Debenhams Oxford Street. And we're gonna try some of the new, new products. Some new year. Yeah, so I didn't realize Bear Minerals had a skin care range. Yeah, we have loads. Well, it makes sense because the products are so natural, aren't they? Yeah. I have wrinkles around my eyes and thirsty, so I don't like it too heavy. Yeah. So a bit light, but I also have like 
I have Aki's going, so a light coverage in certain areas. Yep. Um, I pretty much like what I have on right now. Yeah. Okay. And finish more as you like it to be, you know, like a little bit, you know. Like I'm a matte kind of girl, but with a bit of highlight. Yep. Okay, yeah. perfect. Got it. I'm going to bring some colour for you now. I have a massive spot here. I don't know where it comes from. <laughs> so if you can cover that up, that would be great. Just put this on our, my my skin. Focus. This is the best-selling eye cream. This is our yeah. It's one of our really good selling eye creams. And then we've just put all this range on, have we? Yep. So we've put up the oil obsessed skin longevity, and we're about to put on our waist. All of our moisturizers are anti-aging. They've all got antioxidants in them as well. What I need anti-age me. <laughs> I feel so naked without makeup. Oh. <laughs> So weird, like a year ago when I had my bad skin, I would never dream to do this. Yeah. Okay, I always find it so weird when other people do my makeup. Vivian Westwood, get a life. <laughs> That's better. Yeah, let's, uh, let's look at the situation. Yeah, I find it, so, I'm not really good with the people doing my makeup. I'm not a control freak in anything other than like my styling, if that makes sense. And whenever I do a photo shoot with a brand, and they a put me in clothes I don't like or like do my makeup a certain way I'm always like I actually quite like this makeup it looks really good on camera and um, the lips are amazing they're actually going to send me the products um shoe nuts sushi oh I just got this from um boots I hate moisturizing enough to the shower you know because it gets really cold it's a spray Psh done all about niftiness soap and um, milky ball <laughs> i actually didn't know as well that bare minerals did skincare and it makes so much sense because i don't know if you guys know bare minerals is a really natural brand and was one of the only brands that i could use on my skin when i had like aggravation acne um so I really trust their products that they're not going to react with my skin, which I really, really do. And they have a skincare range. So I definitely want to try and test this to see if it reacts with my skin because I have a feeling that it won't because Bare Minerals Concealer is what I put. So when you have acne, certain concealers and foundations really sting and like just make it really itchy and horrible. But Bare Minerals almost soothed it. And actually their foundations have, I've forgotten what she said now, they have stuff in that it's not just a foundation, it works to like help your skin as well. And it's actually the only only foundation that you can sleep in. Girls, you know what I'm saying? Handy. Um, so yeah, really good products for not aggravating skin. So if you're prone to spots or like you're prone to like allergies or anything like that, definitely try Ben Minerals. I love their eyeshadow palettes they have out. Look at this. This is actually like a rosy coppery gold into green. I would never have thought to do green, but it looks cool. I, I find it really hard to show you my eyes. <laughs> um, yeah, I like what she's done, like the color combinations. Um, we put the liquid foundation on with the original powder one just over the top as well to create like a really airbrush kind of finish, but I like it. Well done, Gina. Thanks for sorting me face out. Good morning, guys. I have got the busiest day today and I've woken up. I think I have an eye infection or a sty. I'm not too sure. I feel a little bit like Quasimodo. Um, but it's Halloween, so all good. I have a really busy day today. I have a breakfast, and then I'm meeting Abby to sort out podcast stuff, and then I have a meeting, and then I have a workshop with Pandora later. So very busy day, and tomorrow is just the same. So it's going to get a little bit hectic. So I'm going to take you along with Cosmodo. <laughs> can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. Let me show you. It's so sore. There's like it's a white dot in my eye. So I'm <laughs> hello. Um, this is really unattractive, isn't it? I don't know if you can see guys, there's like a white, it's so sore. Oh, I feel like it's giving me extra wrinkles under my eye, I'm just not happy about it. Got enough of that as it is. Right, okay, let's go. Just well, arrived at the sunset. I want to take you there. It's so pretty. <laughs> A little pumpkin. I just, there is a mirror in front of me and I closed it because she's far too early to see my own face. The most recognizable ring of Padma. Okay, so I came home, got changed, had a shower to try and make myself into a human being again because Cosmodo is not feeling too great. 
actually wanted to show you. I have the new Christian Louboutin Morgamite on my eyes. I'm going to do a really up close version now. Can you see? This is way too close. But yeah, I love it. This is my outfit today, guys. I just have on this first Givet, my Chloe dupe, some tan trousers. These are my new, I think they're from Misguided or Boohoo, um, jeans, and then this. Got some cute glasses on my head as well. Outfit of the day, Mary. I'm going strong with the Cosmodo eye. Can you see it? <laughs> <laughs> Are they? Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> We're just having laptop club and we are just doing podcasts, reading through all your, your um, thank you to everyone that's filled out like our questionnaire and stuff. It's really interesting. So we're really excited to like start going with it and stuff. And if you haven't filled it out or you don't know what I'm talking about, we, me and Abby are doing a podcast. We just hope we're going to start very, very soon. We're doing it at a podcast studio in Central London and we want you guys to be on it. So join in the conversation. We want to know what you can bring to the conversation, what you want to talk about. And yeah, we, we've not opened my viewers on the podcast, which I think is really exciting. Are you excited? <laughs> so excited, thanks. So guys, I just arrived at the Pandora event. Look at this table. It is so, so beautiful. It is definitely Christmas with Pandora. We're going to be making gingerbread. <laughs> Look. Oh, I like this one. That's cute. Guys, this is the uh, inspiration. <laughs> Let's see the outcome. I'm gonna just put this. It turns out really good, really bad. <laughs> not sure which way it's going yet. Freestyling. <laughs> Gone off. Oh, yours is lovely. <laughs> Guys, I'm just gonna pan around the room so you can see everyone else's gingerbread house. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, let's get a zoom. Look at this beautiful one. We've got some nice ones. This is mine. <laughs> what happened? It's me. Front door. Let me give you a whirl before my battery dies. This is a big heart. And we've got some retroness down this side as well. I love what I've done with the roof. I think it really sets the whole um, thing off. I think I need some green. And this is me with my gold hair, apparently. Oh, oh, the good ones from the bad ones apart. <laughs> everyone else? I just got in, guys. Um, with the gingerbread man still intact, just about. I'm drinking a cup of tea in a coffee mug, because I'm a rebel. I looked around that table tonight and like everyone's gingerbread house was like immaculate. It's like, there's like multicolored icing and like things. Like, how are you guys controlling yourselves? <laughs> Just wanted to come in here because do you ever have those days? Like, I've been feeling really like blur this week. It's gonna sound really strange. Like, I feel really how to explain this i don't feel like blur in how i feel like what i'm doing or like when i look in the mirror it's still the same i just in myself i feel like i don't feel ill but i feel like i don't know i can't am I explaining myself very well like i've got cosmodo still in my eye my skin's like really dry and chat my lips are trapped i feel like blur i feel so bloated and i have no idea why maybe the carrot sticks have finally got the better best of me. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I feel like I just need to go like detox for a while even though I've not drank for a month. Well, I've stopped drinking caffeine. I'm on decaf tea. Maybe I'm having withdrawal symptoms. I don't know. But you just ever have them days where you just don't feel like 100%. I feel like 98. <laughs> Yes, maybe it's my eye. I just feel crap. Like, blah. <laughs> Bedtime talks with Laura. So good. <laughs> Someone wants to send me a message. I always worry when this pops up. Like, is it a dick pic? 
is it a dick pic? This has happened before. Please do a shoe haul, not a dick pic. We're safe. Yes, shoe haul coming up very, very soon. Right, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. Um, by the way, if my um, my acne vlog just went up just in time for said spot. Hello. Hi, guys. I don't know. Oh, cheese. Did somebody else find random bits of cheese in the flat? <laughs> um, I don't think you guys would have noticed, but I've actually been back home up north for a couple of days and back down again because you know when I, I think the last clip would have been me going oh I don't feel too good well I got ill so I took myself up home to Liverpool um yeah I'm just gonna go for a breakfast with YSL some clips might be on my phone because my battery is flashing um and then we're gonna see Harry Potter the musical is it the musical or the play this afternoon I'm so excited we've had tickets for like a year so yeah that is today's agenda we're gonna go to sketch for YSL breakfast in Debenhams and I'm always 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 late so I probably should go but um, I'm very sad that this is flashing. We just arrived at Sketch. Say hi guys! <laughs> There's some bloggers and some people from YSL. It's so cute. I've never been to like a breakfast at Sketch before. I'm gonna take my mum here. Look at this food. It looks so good. Got some porridge. <laughs> I don't know why they just didn't put it on the plate. And Mona has her blueberries. <laughs> I'm Sketch. I've always wanted to come here. I've seen these bathrooms on a so many people's YouTube videos. <laughs> it's the <laughs> Cool, huh? This is like the coolest toilet I've ever been in. Look at this. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a pot. Guys, I know this is TMI, but look at this toilet. It's fabulous. I feel like I'm going for a week in space. So we have arrived at Debenhams at the YSL counter. Do you want to say hey to you too? <laughs> um, this is the new slim. Let me focus, 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 focus. Um, from the pu what's the range called? Rouge Pure Couture. <laughs> she said. <laughs> but how gorgeous is this? I was just saying, it's a really nice like. So it gets in your cupid's bow. Liking the colour as well. Just getting our nails done. Do you want to say hi? <laughs> what's your name? Kaylee. Kaylee. Kaylee watches YouTube. <laughs> She's a, she's a YouTuber. Oh god, my top's really low. This is on, like naked and definite. <laughs> Getting our nails done. <laughs> okay, so I'm about, I've just got my nails done. We went for like a dark one. And I'm just about to get my makeup done by Steve, who is the makeup artist for YSL, right? Yeah. So we're going to go for dark lips and a bit of a smoky eye with some amazing highlights. So glitter. I will show you the app. Lots of glitter. Lots of glitter. <laughs> Oh, so so pretty. Guys, this is the limited edition black opium. It's got coffee and vanilla. Coffee, vanilla, and white flowers. So good. This is the final look. Look at this lip color. It is insane. What color is this? Number 18 in the slim. What she said. 18 in the slim. <laughs> okay, guys. I didn't think I told you where I was coming, so. I'm currently going to see Harry Potter and I'm very late. I'm here with my mum and my sister. It's our Christmas present ages ago. My camera just died. She's back. She's back again. For the blast. <laughs> but we are just at Harry Potter. How do I flip the screen? So we're here at the first theater. It's all very exciting. No, we're off. Thank you for my Christmas present. <laughs> I'm a big Harry Potter fan. <laughs> <laughs> Morning guys, I have you perched on a pillow, so this is what this is, but oh, I don't know if you can see, it's not coming out very red on here, but I've woken up with like, I'm going to say blisters, I've had allergic reaction to something, so you guys may know, I'm, I have really, really sensitive skin, and sometimes this happens, and like, I don't know if you watched my acne vlog the other day where I was talking about my skin, and even though I'm pretty sure, like 99% sure that this is an allergic reaction to a product because it's like hot and burning, um, it still makes me feel exactly the same way. Like it makes me want to hide. Like I have these like red, there's no head to it. Like it's completely smooth on my face. So can, I can cover it up really easily. But I have one here, I have one on this side. Like I can't think what it would be. I dyed my eyebrows the other day but I don't know I don't know it would be some product that I've tried because my skin is so so sensitive and the first sorry I've just woken up blatantly got sleep in my eyes it's so great <laughs> um oh god it lo looks like I've been punched in the face so I've gone from having Qu Quasimodo on this side to now being punched in the face on this side but my first reaction is to always like 
hide away, not go out, not see anyone. And like, if this is the worst thing that has happened to me, I am, God, I am so lucky, so whatever. And like, if people judge me for having this on my face, they should be in my life, basically. <laughs> I like, I don't know what it is. I just think if this is here, like my automatic reaction is to feel the same as I did last year, like a monster, even though it's like nowhere near the same size. But I shouldn't, I should just go. It will be gone in a few days and like, it's so silly that I think like that, but I'm just gonna feel the fear, do it anyway and crack on. I'm really sorry about this vlog, by the way. I've been so sporadic. So I think the last clip you would have seen would have been me saying I'm not ill, but I feel like I'm like fighting it. Well, I think I kind of got ill. So I took myself off home up north for a couple of days, stopped vlogging because I was just like, didn't think it was good to do that like whilst feeling very ill so I stopped vlogging and then my sister and my mum came I came back up north and then my sister and my mum came up north with me so I've, I've had a week of family time and instead of vlogging it I kind of just took that time out so I'm picking up with this this, this thing on my face <laughs> ah! um, so I'm gonna vlog this weekend and then finish it because i don't actually know what you've seen so far and then back on to normal vlogs next week um it's really weird because i know a lot of people that do this job like you lose motivation and get stuck of think like get bored of doing it and stuff i never ever have ever got bored of doing this the whole thing from instagram to youtube to vlogs to i just love doing it so never gonna stop it's weird, like I've never lost passion for it in like the whole, God, when did I very first start Instagram? Like 2014 or something like that? And like, I'm still doing it. So you're not getting rid of me anytime soon, guys. Anyway, I'm gonna, I don't know what, what do we suggest for this? Put ice on it or hot? I feel like it's one or the other. I don't know, let's, let's